Hello everyone, this is Sedi, and welcome to Sedi Smartverse special episode. And we will discuss Random Problem 28, The Birthday Limit. And today is September 29, so happy birthday to me. And without further ado, let's get started. <music> So here is a random problem 28. Evaluate the given limit. The limit as x approaches negative infinity of the expression 9x plus square root of quantity 81x squared minus 29x plus 9. Do you want to solve this problem first? If you want to solve this problem first, you can give it a try. But if you want to view the full solution, continue watching. To solve this problem, we need to do a substitution. So we have the substitution y equals negative x. From here, the limit will be changed into limit as y approaches the negative of negative infinity, which is positive infinity. Since y equals negative x, we can say that x equals negative y. And all of the x here will be substituted into negative y. So 9 times negative y plus the square root of 81 multiplied by negative y squared minus 29 multiplied by negative y plus 9. The limit becomes negative 9y plus the square root of 81y squared plus 29y plus 9. Now we're almost through. The next step that we will do for this limit is to use the limits for infinity. Remember that the limit as a approaches infinity, positive infinity of 1 over a raised to the nth power is equal to 0. And to use this or utilize this, from this limit expression, we need to multiply the conjugate of this expression. So the conjugate of this expression is negative 9y. Since this is plus, it becomes minus. Square root of 81y squared plus 29y plus 9. And then the same thing should be multiplied to the denominator to preserve the value of this expression. Remember, if we multiply on the numerator, we should multiply on the denominator so that we're just multiplying 1, which doesn't change the value of the expression. So, let's proceed. Using difference of two squares, this limit becomes net quantity negative 9y squared minus the square root of quantity 81y squared plus 29y plus 9, and close in parentheses, squared all over negative 9y minus square root of quantity 81y squared plus 29y plus 9. And then this becomes 81y squared, and the square root of the square is obviously the number itself. So we will cancel the square root, leaving us this 81y squared plus 29y plus 9, in closing parentheses. Then, using distributive property, we will distribute the minus sign to each of the terms. So we have 
negative 81y squared minus 29y minus 9. The 89y squared is cancelled, leaving us negative 29y minus 9. Canceling the negative sign for the numerator and the denominator, we have 29y plus 9 all over 9y plus square root of quantity 81y squared plus 29y plus 9. So, in this case, we can now utilize the limits to infinity, which is this one. But how? We will multiply 1 over y to both numerator and denominator. Multiplying 1 over y here gives us 29, and the denominator of this one becomes y, so we have 9 over y. Then multiplying 1 over y here gives us 9, and multiplying y over y here gives us 1 over y multiplied by this whole expression. Then we insert 1 over y inside the square root. This becomes 1 over y squared, which means that from here, we can divide y squared to each of the terms. So we have 81y squared over y squared is 81. 20, 29y over 29y squared is 29 over y, and then 9 over y squared is 9 over y squared. And then, using the limits to infinity, we have 29 plus 0. Since the limit is 0, then remember that these two are also 0. So we have 9 plus square root of 81 plus 0 plus 0, which is 81 still. And our final answer will be 29 over 9 plus square root of 81, which is equal to 29 over 18. So that is it for today's video, Kamatverse. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sedis Matos. Also, follow my social media accounts because I post content there on a regular basis. That's it, folks. This is Sedi reminding you to chase your greatest moonbeam and mathematics is incomplete without you. Till next time.